This is the Gate Psychology paper for 6th February 2022. Now, the questions that we have seen are actually not that difficult, but most of the questions are from the applicative aspects, predominantly the sections relating to personality, defense mechanism, Freud's theory, Erickson's theory. Uh, then we have questions related to behavior therapy, growth and development, uh, the various organs, the uses of those organs, and then certain uh, questions which are multiple set of questions, as you know. So a few of the questions as you can see now this question talks about the development know that in this section we are not discussing about the answers and the explanations for each of the question it's just an overview about what things you need to keep in mind while you are preparing for your gate psychology examination so which of the following is not part of behavior therapy again this is covered elaborately in our video lectures uh, going on to uh, this is a question from defense mechanism now you must be uh, well aware about the three categories of defense mechanism the aggressive the withdrawal and the compromise reaction and based on uh, that you can answer this question then you have uh, the question about the scholars and to which school they belong whether they belong to behavioralism structuralism functionalism and so on the disorder uh, now disorders are extremely important DSM-5 uh, you must know very very uh, thoroughly and this is a question on attention deficit hyperactivity disorder where uh, the person is actually doing a lot of activities and the person cannot uh, con actually concentrate on one specific thing so we call this as ADHD and is commonly seen in uh, younger infants at an early age the next is this question talks about the role of encrea so release of insulin and the purpose behind it then under the self-perception BEMS theory very very important topic we have already mentioned this before schizophrenia the positive and the negative symptoms now positive symptoms are those which are the uh, inappropriate symptoms which are actually visible so delusions hallucinations negative symptoms which should be there but are lacking so loss of interest lack of will are those kind of uh, examples then which of the following do not belong to the domain of emotional intelligence again intelligence is an important question uh, the kinds of biasness uh, have been asked now this is a question where uh, your information is given so it's a kind of applicative questions now here on we have certain uh, questions which deal with applicative aspects so what kind of interference in learning whether it was before the age or after the age uh, what is remembered what is forgotten so those are the kind of questions based on forgetting uh, the Kohlberg's theory of moral development then Erickson's psychosocial development theories Freud's psychosexual uh, development theories are are important theories related to work motivation now, all the theories related to work motivation are important uh, the basis behind those then uh, this is a question from research methodology what kind of design is used under various means there were few questions which were based on uh, statistical aspects and numeric questions were there so you have to find out the value of uh, coefficient of variation which we have covered elaborately the types of projective tests uh, which are there so Roche's ink blot word association uh, thematic air perception all of those are there which of the following is not not a learning disorder so uh, dyslexia as we know is one of the disorders that's there uh, then we have Thurston's theory of primary mental ability again a question from uh, the section on uh, learning uh, intelligence and here we need to understand that again multiple correct answers would be there in these questions so you need to have the interpretations very very carefully another question was there from statistics uh, questions again from theories of motivation so theories of motivation motivation I would recommend cover them carefully uh, in intelligence you have to cover the Thurston's concept and the emotional intelligence last year also there was question on emotional intelligence again important the reticular activating system again an important section the various imaging techniques that are used so medical imaging techniques which are those where they are used uh, then Principal component analysis, factor analysis, exploratory factor analysis are some of the important questions which are commonly asked. Erickson's as I already mentioned, so fifth stage is a very very direct question that you must know. 
questions related to social cognition qualitative learning then again theories of emotion have been asked in which theory arousal must occur before experience so uh, we have covered all the theories of emotion again in detail and then there are some choices which are actually not part of the emotional theory as well so uh, you can simply rule those out uh, so like the maslow's theory okay uh, that's a theory of motivation then again another question on calculating z scores so one question on coefficient of variation one question on z scores so statistics again becomes important types of validity types of reliability highly important so construct validity how can you actually uh, find out the construct validity which is not related to piaget's stages of development uh, again a very basic and uh, fundamental question which was asked there were questions related to types of reliability as we already mentioned memory so it is the uh, encoding and uh, retrieval so the next was how uh, there are traits and dispositions and the process through which we actually identify those question on manova and kova manova another important questions the theories of bystander the bystander effect where a person is just uh, where where there are huge population and everyone feels that someone else would help so none of the persons come to help uh, then there are questions related to observational learning robert stenberg's theory uh, correlation chi square question and uh, the transfer of information from short term to long term memory what are what all are responsible for those so those were some of the questions that were asked to summarize i could say theories of emotion theory of work motivation uh, extremely important to cover intelligence the scholars who have worked for intelligence scholars who have worked for, work for personality erickson psychosocial uh, stages of development moral um, uh, kohlberg's moral development theory is important then under statistics the fundamentals of statistics anova mankova chi square t test z test uh, Uh, then uh, calculating coefficient of co uh, variation uh, standard deviation variance uh, z score are some of the common questions which are asked often and often on then questions related to emotional intelligence again a very very important section so as we have seen most of the questions were of the masters level the questions were actually not that difficult but if you have covered let's say your uh, uh, if you are involved with your net preparation then you can attempt these sections very very easily uh, but definitely the paper was scoring specifically when it comes to multiple select question the students who got confused there because uh, let's say two of the choices were correct so they were confident about one of the choices but the remaining one they were not confident so if that is the scene make sure you are going through each of the points very very carefully and all these topics we have covered exclusively in detail in the video lectures uh, available on door step tutor so you can refer that wish you very good luck for your preparation have a wonderful day